today we're going to be doing a review on the Echo One Lone Wolf Timberwolf Gas Blowback Airsoft Pistol. So, um, yeah, I purchased this gun at my local airsoft store for about $160. A little bit overpriced, you know, because you can buy it online a lot cheaper. But, um, I bought it with some money I got, so, um, I just wanted to, you know, get it quickly. You don't have to wait for shipping. Um, anyway, so let's get right into this review. So when you first purchase this gun, what you will get in the box that comes in, which is actually, um, pretty nice box. It's kind of random, but, um, yeah, it's just black, uh, but it has, if you can see this, has kind of stars up here, you know, American flag on the front of it, the stripes. It's in black and white, though, but it looks really nice. It has a nice lone wolf, um, trademark on the front. Then when you open the box, uh, what I really like is the gun comes in this nice gun bag. Um, great little pistol bag. Uh, with really good storage for the pistol. So inside of there is just, uh, try to not let this fall out, but a pistol and a replaceable piece for the grip. Um, so this right here is the replacement piece for the grip uh, back strap. You just I'll get the gun out of the bag for you. Um, sorry about that. It's plain, but this is the gun. You just push push this down right here, pull it back, it comes off, and then you can just slide a new grip in. But this is the gun itself. Uh, obviously, we'll get the gun. A uh, real nice full metal. Um, gas blowback has a 25 round mag. Um, yeah, it sounds really good. Um, so let's get into the specifications and some pros and cons of the gun. So, the first thing that you feel when you come across this gun is just a nice, you know, kind of weight and, um, realistic feel. Because if you have ever handled the real, um, a real Glock, which I have, because I have um, a lot of experience with real firearms. Um, it feels just like it, you know, nice and heavy, looks the same, same exact spot, for example, the slide lock up in the corner, same exact thing. Um, trigger looks the same, but uh, it's actually mauled after a lone wolf, um, timber wolf, not a Glock, but they make Glock upgrade parts, so in a way it's kind of like a Glock, but, um, yeah, it feels just really nice. It's got the um, bracket for the rear sight and just the white dot for the front sight. Um, the mag release is right where you would find any other mag release, just like the real Glock right here. You just push that down, and the mag will come right out. Very heavy mag, by the way. Not that the gun's light or anything, but with the mag in it, it makes it a lot heavier. And it has a little 5 through 16... Um, holes in the side, you know, where you would see the bullets, but this isn't a real gun, obviously. So you're not going to see any bullets in this one, just airsoft BBs, and those actually, by the way, can only be seen through the front, obviously. Um, to fill up the gas, you would just get your bottle of gas, you know, take the cap off, and then there's a little hole in there, you just stick it in there for maybe, maybe a little less than five seconds. I filled this thing up for 10 seconds one time, and it was a disaster. I mean, literally, I could shoot like three mags out of it with one thing of gas. I was worried the gun would like blow up or something, so just I wouldn't recommend doing that only for like four seconds. But yeah, so the velocity of this gun is 300 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs, which I got some air splat 0.2s here, uh, just in a little bottle. Um, it's just crappy BBs that came in that bottle, but, um, yeah, I have air spot point twos in there. I'll be shooting a little bit, but, um, yeah, so, anyway, my gun shoots 300 feet per second. It has a heavyweight 25-round magazine, obviously full metal. Um, to take the slide off, there's, there's these two little tabs on the side. You have to pull them both down at the same time, which I find to be very difficult, and push the slide forward, but I'm not going to do that right now just for the sake of the video. The trigger, I mean, it's not too hard to pull. Nothing insane. Um, and the safety. That is my one major complaint about this gun. 
the safety is on the bottom here. It's a little silver thing. You just push it down to put it on safe. And you see, if you just use your nail, it seems easy. But it's not on safe. The trigger can still be pulled. You have to literally... I can't even do this, like, with the gun pointing toward you guys. The safety, at least. I, I can't even put it on safety. It's so it's that difficult to where you can't. I can't even put this thing on safety. Cause you see, if, I don't know if you can see this, but it has the rails. The safety is this kind of little peg in between the rails. There's no room to put your hands and pull it down. You have to put your fingernail kind of in that little slit up there and push it straight down. And that's it's really hard to do. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a downside. Um. Once again, the slide lock or and slide release is this little thing on the side. If there's no mag on the gun, it will just talk back and you can let go of it. But if there is a mag on the gun, it will lock and you have to pull the slide and release down. So, the slide goes forward, feels real nice. Um, once again, no mag in the gun, cock it back. You have to the slide lock. Slide lock right here. Just push that up, and it will lock the slide. Push it back down, and it is back and you know ready to go. I guess. Um. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool. I thought it was kind of weird though that the slide will lock when the mag was in. So that's a little confusing I think to me. So yeah, those are pretty much all the pros. And specifications of the gun. If I missed anything, please leave it in the comments. But there is a few cons on this gun. Oh, by the way, another kind of feature is this that was kind of cool one to include it, besides the rails in the bottom. Um, this thing protects your hands, so it's not a real gun. It's not going back that hard, this slide, but it still hurts if you get hit with it. So if you hold it like this, you know how you would normally hold a gun. Two fingers like that, hand over your other hand. The slide just normally there. There's a little like lip almost. So when the slide comes back, it doesn't hit your hand. You don't have to worry about your hand being too close, you know, and then hurting your hand. It's always that way. So yeah. Um, but something that I thought was really um, weird about the gun. This may not be a con. It may just be from where I bought it from. Is this gun? I think it's supposed to come with a little more than I got with it. Um, but the flash, not the flash hider, the um, orange tip is normally threaded kind of stops about there, you know, maybe a little shorter, and then it's threaded for like that much, that long. Um, it's actually pretty good quality plastic on the orange tip. But anyway, it's off subject. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be threaded. Mine wasn't threaded. I don't know why, but um, anyway, um, another con about this gun is that the barrel seems to be really loose. I mean, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to fall out, but just push it I just push it in, and I wiggle up and down a little bit, you know, it's very loose, it's like you can hear, the barrel does not seem to be very loose, and I think that affects the accuracy a lot, one shot's, you know, dead on target, and the slide goes back, and the barrel, you know, moves in one direction or the other, and it makes the gun really inaccurate sometimes, or inconsistent, so that's definitely a con of the gun. Um, and also this paint up here, you know, where it's supposed to be the chamber, kind of scrapes off over time. Uh, I, don't, I just got this thing today, and the paint is already a little bit scratched. But, I mean, inside, if you look inside of there, I know you probably can't see it, but it all you, it looks really nice. See the feeding tube, little thing that pushes the BBs in, the barrel, you can see the barrel, everything. It looks really cool, I think. But, um, yeah, definitely a great gun. Um, besides those few things I mentioned, great sidearm, has great power, um, and I just love it, so yeah. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how it sounds shooting it, how to fill, fill up with green gas, and then we'll do a little bit of shooting. So to fill this gun up with green gas, you will need to remove the magazine, I'll just put it like that. Um, and the bottom, there's a little hole in the bottom. You're going to want to get your gas. Okay, kind of like to shake it up, I don't know why. And then you're going to want to, you know, get the little peg thing. And stick it in the little tiny, there's like a little nozzle hole thing that the gas is meant to go in. Um, it's kind of like, it looks kind of weird if you can see it. It's like a metal ring and there's a little tiny hole in the middle. Put this around that little hole. Only for like five seconds, remember. Don't do it too long. But, and push it in really tight too, or else the gas will leak. 
I didn't really count. I just waited till the gun kind of sounded like it was done filling up. But um, the mag is kind of cold, and then just put it in the gun. And I'll show you what this thing sounds like when it fires. And then I will put a um, few BBs in there. We'll go out and do a shooting test. But when you shoot it, it sounds like this. It sounds real nice. Has a nice, good amount of recoil with a heavy, realistic way of slide. You know. Um, sounds pretty nice, pretty loud. Um, yeah, it just works flawlessly. Um, if you want to see it fast, you could like, shoot it. I'll show you. Definitely, um, very reliable sidearm, actually. I would not, um, doubt this thing at all in a game. I would definitely, I ran out of ammo on my rifle, which, uh, by the way, I'll probably have a review on that up soon. Um, just started my reviews for airsoft stuff. I've been posting a lot on Minecraft, which I will have that, once again, weekly. I'll try to post airsoft, maybe every week, every other week. But anyway, off subject again. Um, also, speed loaders. I don't really know how to load this thing with speed loaders, but besides speed loaders, you just stick a BB in through the front and push it down. Easy to use. Um, you have to cock it back too before you shoot it to get a BB chambered, and then you can start shooting once again. Um, yeah, the one thing that I thought was kind of unrealistic about this though is all the other gas guns I see shooting, or at least in like videos and stuff. A ton of smoke and like well not smoke gas shoots out the barrel and out like the slide and stuff in the mag i think it looks really cool this one just shoots out normally nothing really comes out of it um like i'll try to show you if you can i don't think really anything came out of that but um yeah so i may put a little bit more gas in it and then we'll go out and do a little shooting all right guys so now for the shooting test um let me zoom out real quick as you can see, I've got the gun. All I gotta do now is this chamber around. Oh, sorry, a lot of dust on it from that table. And now I'm ready to shoot. So I'm gonna go behind the camera, zoom back in. And sadly, I mean, if you want me to guys, I could try to do this, but you see it's really blurry. So um, let me know if you wanna see the gun in the next video, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna stand back. So I'm only like 10 yards away. Looks a lot f further than it really is, but I shoot a few shots at the target, and you guys will get an idea of this accuracy. So, um, 25 rounds, I'll shoot a few at the target, and then I'll go as fast as I can. All right, so it's just three at the target. You see, they've all hit. So I don't know how far away you're gonna use this gun from, but. In CQB, this is going to be my primary. I'm not going to use my SFC. Um, I'll probably just get an extended like 50 round mag for it because this gun is compatible with Wii upgrade parts, Wii G18C or WE G18C upgrade parts, which I think is really cool. But anyway, let's see how fast this thing can shoot. As you can see, it's shooting pretty fast and decently accurate too. Now if I one hand it, I'm hitting the target just fine. Um, once again, back with two hands. And, sorry about that. That's all the ammo we have. So, let's get back to the review table and I'll do a quick little conclusion of this gun. Alright guys, so that just about concludes my video for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like to pick up this gun, I'll have a link to air, um, airsoftgi.com where you can purchase this gun for I think around 140, 150 bucks. Um, that's generally the, pl the price you'll find with this thing. Um, very solid shooter once again for an overall kind of conclusion. Um, things I few, didn't, few things I didn't like about it was the safety, a little inaccurate. And the, um, you know, barrel's a little loose. Um, but it works great. Uh, 
definitely a good dumb. Great sights. Once again, um, nice heavyweight. Definitely worth it for the money. Because you're definitely not going to be disappointed you're with the no full auto on this thing uh, compared to some other Glocks. That you, well, this isn't a Glock, but compared to Glocks, you know, you're not going to be disappointed that you didn't purchase a full auto Glock. This thing is definitely worth the money. You can see I was over there um, shooting from about 30 yards. I could hit that target every time. You could definitely hit a person from that far away. I wouldn't take this thing any further than maybe like 20 yards. Um, just because of the barrel, you know, moving around, it's a little inaccurate sometimes. But for CQB, which is what I use this for, definitely not going to fail you. You can use this thing as your primary all day long. So, um, great gun. I hope you enjoyed my review. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to have the SRC review up soon, but until then, you'll probably be seeing a lot of Minecraft videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment if you want me to do a shooting test, even though I probably will. I'm just wondering if people still want to see shooting test after that, because that was kind of a shooting test. But obviously I'll do a more in-depth shooting test. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this gun review. Um, definitely a great gun to have. Out of 10, I would probably rate it like an 8, maybe even 9. Um, on a day where I'm kind of just out of it, maybe I'd give it like a 7, just because of the some of the inaccurate stuff, maybe in like woodland or something, but if this was your um, sidearm, it's definitely a wonderful sidearm, an incredible sidearm, great sidearm to use, um, good backup, so uh, if you're not using it as your primary CQB, woodland sidearm, definitely not a bad idea, anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I will try to have the um, SRCM4 review up pretty soon, I may upgrade it a little bit, but I think that's going to be anytime, you know, soon, so, anyway, please rate, comment, and subscribe once again, and thanks for watching.